These are your kits. Mm -hmm. These are actually our Casper kits that we have been selling for the last um, month, pretty much. And I've got a few additional cookies because it's October and pink October for Breast Cancer yay, Awareness. Yay. So I gave you into pink. Awesome, thank you. And I'm a survivor, a, by the way. Oh, well, good for you. Six years. Awesome, good for you. So I am assuming that you are gonna be eating these yourself and not selling them. Yeah. So I'm not worrying That's about wearing gloves. Okay, yeah, no. <laughs> So here's your cup of extra cookies. We will decorate. Careful, we're off to a good start. <laughs> there we go. I'm Peggy. I'm the, one of the owners and the baker, and we're doing our weekly tutorial. This week we're doing Casper, and we added a few extra with the pink and the cauldron and the pumpkin for Pink October for Breast Cancer Awareness. So in your kit, you will find cookies individually wrapped and sealed. You can either pick your label off if you like. It usually comes off pretty easily. You'll notice it has a reseal strip on the inside. Oh, so oh. if you, when you're done, if you want to reseal your cookies, you can. Okay. And that's because we sell really big cookies and a lot of times they don't get eight in one setting. So we're going to take our cookies out of our packets. Mm, I think I've done Our normal, it doesn't matter. We're going to do them all. Oh. <laughs> Our normal packet, do it yourself, has six cookies. We have a few more, so we'll kind of pick and choose what we're going to do. Mm. And this particular kit was designed just for Casper, so he had the three big ghosts. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. We probably won't do all three of them, but those were his uncle's stretch, Batso, and I don't remember the other one's name. <laughs> and you make these cookies? Yes, we make these cookies ourselves. Here's our own recipe, same recipe I've raised my kids on. It is awesome. And we make all of our own icing. Ooh. And colored ourselves. In your kit, you'll have three bags of icing and then the additional pink for Pink October. Okay. We have some sprinkles, which are always fun. And I like just to open my stuff up and have it out there within a hand's reach. Okay. We have parchment paper down, but if you wanted to use our insert for parchment, you can do that, and it gives you a clean work area. Aww. But if not, you can just leave it in your box, and you can store your cookies on it when you're done. Aww. You got everything. So which one are you guys feeling first? Which one are you most excited about doing? Oh, goodness. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. You pick. No, pick, you a pick a cookie. Pick a cookie. You're going to pick a... You want to do Casper? Okay. Let's do Casper. Do Casper. <laughs> All right, so... When you have, I use tipless bags. When you have a bag of icing that may be setting a little bit, these haven't been because I just made these yesterday, but you can just kind of roll it and it loosens it up a little bit, makes it more consistent. And then I always check my tips, make sure there's no little gathering down there so I know it's gonna flow well. You want to cut off the tip, very small amount. See how that flows? because less is more. You can always take more off, but you can't add it back on. So just take a little tip off with your scissors. Make sure they are scissors that are being used just for food. Okay. And after you take that tip off, you're going to outline your cookie. So if you're nervous about doing that, <laughs> don't get right on the edge. Oh, okay. So go in just a little bit because when you go to flood, this is the flooding process, it's going to put a little bit of weight on that. You can always take a little more off I your tip if you need to. Made you nervous about cutting too much yeah. off, didn't I? Did I? Do I need to cut oh, more? Oh yeah, you definitely need to cut more <laughs> off. <laughs> I don't think I even had a hole in mine. Alright. This is better. Yeah. So you oh, see yeah. how we started outlining? <laughs> And you hold it how you hold it? Just. just in your palm of your hand. It should be about the right size to fit it in hand. Looks so much easier than it is, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All those holiday cooking 
cookie show, Jennifer. Now. Yeah, they have you convinced that you can do it. Well, you can. By the time you're done, this will be so much easier for you. And they do it so fast. Okay. And I am by far from an expert. I've only been doing this a few, oh, about a year and a half full time. Before I just did it as a hobby. Oh man, look at I squiggle wiggle. But that's okay. Mine are all squiggly. No, I mean I didn't go all the way to the top of his head. We'll fix that. <laughs> You're gonna see how we're gonna fix that in okay. a minute. Okay. All right. Is that good? So you got him outlined. Beautiful. You two ladies definitely need to take just a tad more off. Okay. I made you gun shy. But that's okay. If you wouldn't have, I'd have whacked her off. No, huh? You know what? If you take too much off, it'll still be okay. Okay. So you've outlined your cookie. So now you're going to flood. So you're going to hold and apply pressure. And you're going to go right next to that outline. And you see how that just kind of color that in? How mm -hmm. that blends? That's what you're going to do. Okay. You do that all across the cookie? You're going to do that over your whole cookie. I like to take it around my outline first. Because then if I've gotten a little too far in onto the cookie, I can apply extra pressure to that outline and scoot that line back. Ah. And if you accidentally get carried away and it overflows the cookie, that can come off at the very end when it's dry. Just take a little sharp edge of a knife and cut that right off. Don't be afraid to squeeze your tube hard. They've only exploded a few times. <laughs> <laughs> And I am by far from an expert. See how that blends together. Keep your line moving smoothly. Apply the same pressure. If you don't feel like your tip's quite large enough, you can cut a little more off. Bop. You just take it right off. What'd you do? Stuck my finger in it. Oh, oh that <laughs> happens all the time. You did it on purpose. <laughs> just kind of shake your cookie a little bit or bounce it, and that will take care of that if you have a little blemish. Now we're going to set these guys to the side. Okay. We're going to let him dry a little bit before we add on his eyes and make him scary. Okay. How about let's do a witch's hat. Okay. Do you remember the name of the witch on Casper? She was Wendy. a friendly. Yes, very Yay. good. She was a friendly witch. <laughs> Oh, yellow. I'm going to get the yellow. yellow. You do whatever color you want. I'm going to get the yellow because I'm going to show you how to do a quick decorate with sprinkles. We're going to do yellow then. We're going to do yellow? Okay. okay. Copycat. Okay. Or you don't have to be a copycat. Did you wiggle it? Yeah. I always always kind of make sure because it could have a little bit of settlement in there. <laughs> You'll know because your tube will get clogged. Now we're going to outline this and then we're going to fill it. So we're going to take off about the same amount of tip and you're just going to outline it. Okay. Oh. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're basically going to get a coat of icing on it. Now if you wanted just the outside of this to have sprinkles on it, uh -huh. you could simply Dunk just the outside of it. I like myself a little barrier here so I don't have sprinkles flowing everywhere. <laughs> but you could take it. See how it's even a little jagged in here? Uh -huh. By far from perfect. You can take it. You can just kind of dunk that in there. And now oh. you have a fancy schmancy border. Ooh, that's pretty. Makes a nice simple design. Good. You need a little donkey, little more. Okay. Donkey, donkey. Everybody likes perfect. Oh. See how fancy she is. Now I dunk the rest of it so that you could see. That is so pretty. If it goes a little bit over, if we had gloves on, it would be for a customer, but since we don't, I'm not going to worry about it. You just use your fingers and kind of push your spots up there to stay on your cookie. Oh my God. Okay. 
Now I'm going to cut the tip of my black off. I'm just going to cut a small amount off because a little bit of black goes a long way. Okay. And I'm going to outline this. Now, normally, I didn't free my bag up. See what happens. <laughs> uh oh. There we go. So, normally, you would have to wait to outline after it dried. Uh huh. But since we put the sprinkles on there, we do not have to do that. See? Now, if you chose not to dunk your cookie and you just did a straight cookie, you would have had some stars that you could have put on it, too, for which is half. Wow. All kinds of little things. And you could make some little marks even on top of your sprinkles, like some little X's. Oh, gosh. Why, what? Oh, gosh. Okay, well. How did she dunk? How'd you dunk? It's not a disaster. Let's see. I'm just missing some. Hang on a minute. So you gotta. Let me finish it. <laughs> see, I like just the outline that too. That is pretty. Okay. Uh, yay! Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. If you just kind of squish it down with your fingers a little bit, those will move onto your edge. See how they are, they're kind of yeah. movable? So you don't have to be exact. Okay. Um, and with it being sprinkles, you can decorate right on top of that without having to wait for it to dry. Okay, you don't gotta be fancy. It's gonna be making a mistake. <laughs> now I'm gonna use the yellow for her buckle. Oh. Just make a simple buckle. That's pretty. Pretty simple little guy. And this is just quick decorating. If you're decorating real cookies, like for a birthday or something, you would let them dry in between. So we just let that dry? Yeah, you can just let it dry. You can set it up here with your ghost. Okay. The Wendy's hat can keep Casper company. There you go. Let's see how she outlines. Okay, well. She's concentrating awfully hard there. <laughs> so good. Very good. That's good outlining. Considering you've never done it before, that's really good. Thank Yay. you. How about a broom to go along with the witch? Want to do a broom? Let's do yes, broom. let's do a broom. Broom, broom, broom. Okay. All right. So we have the black out because we oh. were outlining with the black. I didn't do my black yet. Yeah, I, forgot I forgot to do that. To do. I did too, and I paid for it because it was a little clogged at my tip. <laughs> so, so we are just going to do the handle. This just is a, is a special bag that you buy? These are tipless bags. Um, you can feel the little, I like to be able to feel the bag in my hand. Mm -hmm. And you can buy them that's just totally smooth, but I like feeling a, just a better grip. Okay. All right, so I'm going to identify the handle first. Okay. And go around it. So we're gonna outline the handle. And you went right above these little lumps. Yep. My husband actually helped me do this particular kit, and he um, he's a sweet eater, and his face was off. We had the camera pointed down, so you could <laughs> see the cookies, and you could see the bag disappear and go up. Oh, no. <laughs> they couldn't see what he was doing, but when I looked at him, I could see. <laughs> he had a black tongue for a couple days. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Now we're going to draw the straw. Ooh. Now your first layer, it will not be identified easily. So we're just going to basically outline this and flood it. We're okay. going to let it dry. Then we'll go back over it. Okay.
So what I like to do is identify my windows and my door first. Okay. So you can put your door on the side, you can put it in the middle, ever how you see your haunted house. That's how you can do it. Okay. Okay. I know I like to have a window in the attic because that's where all the creepy ghosts hang out. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I'm definitely putting one there. I like a great big picture window because on all the scary movies, someone's sitting in front of that window and you can see the creeper behind them. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna put a, just a big old door here. Oh my gosh, it just makes that look so. So once you've identified your spots, you can outline your house and you can color in with your black icing your haunted house. I made a pink door while you were getting that all arranged yes. okay. in October, but you can make whatever color door you like. Awesome. We could have filled in the door first and then dunked it in our sprinkles and had a sprinkled door. Oh. Wouldn't that have been clever? Been Too bad somebody didn't think of that. <laughs> <laughs> you got some little people visiting you. <laughs> <laughs> This is a very little door. <laughs> <laughs> the Keebler elves. <laughs> you got big windows and little door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put a black sprinkle that was in here for my doorknob. Oh. Oh, the little ball thing. Yeah. The, the ball's going to be bigger than the door. It, it might be. <laughs> If you just kind of pick your cookie up and shake it a little bit, okay. just kind of lay it in the palm of your hand and bounce it. See how that starts going down with a little bit of movement? There you go. That's very cool. If you get it when it's still wet. Now we can get creative with our doors while that's still wet. And we could make a line going down and a dot and a bigger dot. Do you know what that's going to be? No. A spider. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Jennifer won't have one of her. I will not have a spider. <laughs> but it's a creepy house. Oh, that's cute though. <laughs> oh. I'm going to draw some lines on my windows. So it looks like window panes. Oh. You do not have to. What are you drawing? A person. Oh, a person. See, they're watching. They're watching TV, and there's somebody creepy climbing around outside. It's a stick figure. Because <laughs> I, I need a bigger head on him. <laughs> oh, there he is. Uh, got a weird haircut. <laughs> I've heard of that happening <laughs> during COVID, anyway. Mm. Oh, that's an unfortunate arm you have there, too. Yeah, I think maybe I should just stuck with window panes instead of getting a little. Hey, you gotta be creative. Let's see. Oh, you have a little creepy in <laughs> oh, Hey, they're, they're inside and they're talking or watching TV. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's cool. Look at you. I was watching her be creative. Ooh, that's hard. <laughs> <laughs> you can use your little dots too in your sprinkles if that helps you. Ooh, no, that's Jimmy. The long ones are called Jimmy's. And then the round ones are called balls. <laughs> <laughs> what just so figure. simple? Go figure. I know. Hey, <laughs> got know those technical names of what you're working oh, with. Oh, look at that. Do you have a boo boo? Okay, no, don't don't do that. Oh, okay. Take the tip of your scissors uh -huh. and make it act like a tweezer. Oh, this that's cool. Oh my gosh. I see her shaking. There! She got it! Did she play Operation with you as a child? 
<laughs> well, we bought one. You didn't like it. <laughs> oh, I did it <laughs> because she, if she hit the edge, she didn't like that. So that there's... noise. Oh. Okay. You can also use them as tweezers to get a hold of your little balls and stuff in oh, here. Really clever. That's just. That's just fancy crazy. I tried to put a bat up here, but you now can't see it because oh, did it's you so see? much black. Oh, did you pull the bat out of here? Yeah. There it goes. Oh. And then you could just place it where you wanted it with that instead of using your fingers if you needed ah. to. I have real tweezers too. Here, I'll just... I'm trying to make a spider. So if you want to decorate the outside of your house, there should be some little bats in here you can use. You can make one fly by by the window here. Do I have any other ones in here? I don't have very many bats in mine. Do I sound a little disappointed? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually quite upset that I'd have more bats. Well, I got one little bat. I have another one. You want oh, one? use them on yours. You're going to have some bats hanging out? How do I do it up here? That could be the Batman symbol. Oh, we have then, another. Do you want one? Oh, I'm good. I'm going to make okay. some ghosts. Oh. So I'm going to have a ghost coming out of mine up here. Boo -hoo 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 -hoo. Oh, my gosh. Look at there that. There he is. Oh, how cute. Oh, man. So a couple friendly ghosts and just the white bulb, kind of like the shape of a light bulb. Two little eyes, oh my God. and then a boo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to do a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do one. And pick. what decorators like to see is you see how the icing is layered on top of the other mm -hmm. one with a little bit of puff in it. That's what we like to see. Gives it more of a dimensional look. Now normally this would have been three sessions with at least an hour in between each one. Oh my goodness. So that you would dry and it wouldn't all go together. Mm -hmm. Wow. So we have a bat and some ghost and a spider. If you're not scared in that house, you're in <laughs> trouble. We're going to take a circle here in a circle here, like that. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna put one in the middle. And we're going to flood these two, let them dry for just a little bit and come back and do the center and it'll give it a dimensional look. Oh, like a, lump, like a lumpy pumpkin. Like a lumpy pumpkin, mm -hmm. like a real one. We're gonna finish the broom. We're gonna start at the top and we're just gonna kinda make squiggles. Squiggles down like it's straw. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna switch over and put a stem on my pumpkin. I'm gonna use a black stem. And I'm gonna do some little squiggly oh, lines oh here for this some stems. This is the best, yeah. Who's the better decorator? Jennifer. She is. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I thought she meant out of the two of us. I was going to say, well, she's yeah. the pro. Yeah, yeah, I think they're Parker doing better good. Better than me. Better. I was telling them that some of our people that do it regular really gotten good. Well, what's that one you're decorating? Uh, this was a broom. I thought it was a We've used it as Harry Potter, Practical Magic, Hocus Pocus. Oh, and this is the work I have done. Oh, that's a good job. I've eaten half a cookie. Yeah, is, is that your stimming? I, I just committed to something after it went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that was some abstract we art. <laughs> we are an art community. Oh my god. <laughs> it just got really unfortunate really quickly. Unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
So if you use your orange paper, you can put it back in. You can put your cookies in here that you've done, completed. Ooh, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I dunked in her dunker thingy. <laughs> <laughs> you can leave them there. I'll, I'll get them. Oh. Yep. See, black everywhere. Okay. <laughs> I'll have it all down my arm. <laughs> you, you ship your kits? Yes. And how much does a, a kit normally run? Most of our kits are $18. Okay. Um, we do free shipping in some areas, and then there are some states that we just do a flat $3.99 okay. shipping. So what about the Florida? $3.99. $3 $3.99? Okay. Yeah, but it depends on your order size. If so, your order is big enough, it's free. So what about for Christmas? What do you usually have for Christmas? Well, this is our first, we're in our year and a half right about now. And oh, part wow. of this has been through the pandemic. So um, we've only been through one Christmas. So I'm still doing it, working on my designs that I'll have this year. Our business has increased a lot, even mm -hmm. with the pandemic. So what happened was, instead of getting five dozen cookies at a shot that we'd have ordered, a dozen or two but it's more people ordering them so our average ticket is smaller so whenever the pandemic releases we think it will really be mm -hmm. very good to us that's awesome so, and we kind of wanted to leave it as a legacy for our kids we both yeah. retired we have our retirements and we're very fortunate mm -hmm. but we wanted to leave something for our kids and grandkids oh that's very i love cool. that and that's we love our community